Hello there. And welcome to Stray- Oh, come on! Get out of here! Get, get out! Get out! Shoot! Thank you. No, I don't talk to the cat like that. No! Kitty! It's kitty time! Ah! <sighs> I still remember like a year or so ago when I first saw gameplay for Stray and it didn't really seem that interesting but I really, really wanted to give it a try once it came out and um, yeah. It looked awesome. I played it for like half an hour because I wanted to see this the like uh, first bit of the game. It looks Awesome! I love it! I love the game and I was really really tempted to play more but I want to have my like full reaction be like on uh... Can I... Clear. Yes, because I didn't play much. Now let's start a new game. Like, I don't know, just... You're gonna see. I don't know if this is saw at other YouTubers because unfortunately I'm like two or three days left almost. Uh, late, I mean not left. Three days, like, or so uh, late when it comes to um, recording. Like, hopefully, audio wise, it's okay. I'm gonna see. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna uh, lower the audio next episode. Or actually, I might lower it now. Look, kitties! The game is really cute. Well, at least when it comes to cats. When it comes to the world itself, it's kinda depressing. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna lower the volume a bit. And settings, audio. Oh. Well, um. Huge question. I forgot, I said that I want to play, like, I, when I played it for the, that first time, I played it with, um, with the uh, keyboard and mouse. But I kind of want to play it through with the controller. And since this isn't... Oh, perfect. Like, it, it, it took it. I want to play it with, uh, I want to play it with the controller, see how it feels. Oh my god. Mm, I'm a cat! So that's first person. How do I mean? <gasps> I press B. Anyway, want to see something really cute? <laughs> um. Oh, 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 you liked it, or, or she? Actually, good question. Oh. This is, in my opinion, better than, than any cutscene. Like, any intro cutscene you could have. <sighs> you know... Unfortunately, like, here's the thing. Until, like, a few years ago... I would have been a huge advocate of getting a cat. Because I, I, I just absolutely adore cats. Like, you know. But I kind of finally experienced having a cat, at least a very hyperactive cat, and I don't know. When it really comes to it, I still love cats in general. It's just that I'd much rather go for a dog. Like, I don't know, it's weird. I'm more of a both kind of person. Heck, I would even go for a turtle, I would go for a, for a lizard, I would go for like many different kinds of pets I would love to have, but, you know. Look at the kitty! Good morning. But yeah, it's um puzzle platformer, which is an interesting uh, genre to have for a game, at least uh, a game of, of, of this kind. And uh, yeah, I even saw a bit of the the puzzle aspect. You can see it a bit later in the game. Uh, this first area that we're in right now is more of a tutorial beginning part to get accustomed to, con to the controls. Meow. <laughs> I 
inside the wall. Oh, so it's still the same amount of letters, just that the letters are really weird, you know, symbols. Interesting. Um, wait, I didn't? But I stopped vibrations, right? Or did I not? Hmm. I'm gonna see how hard it vibrates. Usually I don't play games with vibrations on because uh, they usually just is a bit too much. So that's for running. So I did have a bit of, of, of like a couple lag spikes. Uh, but there were very few and they were only in specific points. Um, I'm just gonna see, play around with the uh, with settings after this first episode if it's really needed. No, 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 not here. <sighs> that does feel a bit framey. I... <sighs> Do I want to go on... Well, shadows can go to medium. Fix can go to medium. Yeah, let's do that. Just to not have it be too framey. <laughs> he leaves. Oh my god. Uh, it's a nice attention to detail. Oh yeah, here it is. You can drink uh, you can drink the water, which is really cute. Weirdly enough, I think you can leave the cat to drink like forever here, so you know. It doesn't make sense because you could it's, uh, it does make a bit of sense to leave that decision in the hands of the player instead of having a a very short animation. You know. <laughs> uh, I love this. Oh yeah, press A. Actually, now that I think about it, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get to the same point where I got before, because at least last time I actually kind of went through it quickly. Can you use the... Oh no, you can't use the D-pad, because the D-pad is used for something else later. Oh yeah, last time, no. I think, oh yeah, last time I went down there. I guess this is a nice way to show you that you can have multiple paths. Uh, that you can go through. How do you actually react to it? Oh, there's gonna be puzzles where you're gonna... Oh, that's a bit of a lag spike. There's gonna be puzzles where you're gonna have to have, um... Like... I guess citizens react to meowings. To have them do something specifically or go to a specific point. I'm not too sure because, like, you get into an apartment at some point and where you get the next like unlockable ability and you start doing a lot more stuff uh at least the ability to do a lot more stuff so uh yeah i didn't go and play after that because i was like yeah i don't want to get too spoiled by you know the puzzles and stuff uh, they're gonna come later. Hmm. Oh, that's meow. It breaks my heart. Cat. I wonder if it actually has a name. 
the, the game is named Stray, so it makes sense because you're, you're a stray cat. You know? Oh, those are the cats from above meowing at you. Aww. It breaks my heart. So, I'm curious about one thing, like... Okay, a bit of a spoiler for pretty much, most likely, the next episode. Um... Going through the, um, going through the, uh, the city, you're gonna be helped by someone. You're gonna be helped by a little, uh, consciousness of, uh, or the consciousness of a robot, right? That you then get put, it gets put into a little, uh, drone-like thing. And it can go through the network and activate, deactivate things and stuff. Now, does this door is also, like, is this door also opened by the same, um, uh, by the same person, well, being, robot, whatever, or is this just something randomly happening, you know, like, like that's my biggest question, because I don't think there are any cameras in here, and the only reason to open this is if uh, it somehow hurt the meows, because, you know, now we're in the underground city, I wish you could move, well, the dead city, more like, with, like, head crabs? W was it head crabs in uh, in uh, Half Life? Half Life. Hello. Yeah. And and that's the same like entity that uh, I was talking about, looking at you through the cameras. So it makes sense here that uh, you know you you. Would it would realize like there's a cat in here and then you know it's a it's a living being oh I didn't even receive this huh there's a body there and yeah, I do love that you can just jump on these random things even though there's no need to Uh, the really nice attention to detail and then not not. So that's something. Oh, human personnel only. Huh? No trumpets. So there were humans in here then? Yeah, and you can see what I was saying about being able to control things around the city because it's uh, in the network. It's not that big of a spoiler since, you know, tomorrow we're already going to see uh, the drone dude. Most of the text, I guess, is in that, uh, in that language. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, 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 I realize this a bit, uh... Like, close to the end of my playtime, if you meow next to these, te to technology, it... It, it kind of gets, uh, it gets screwed a bit. It acts weird and stuff. Oh, there's already... Was this thing I need this for? I know there's a thing later where. Oh, yeah, it is. That's uh, really, really neat. A little puzzle. Oh my god. God, I love this game. I don't know the, the animations and everything like it. It having to do with the cat is it, just really, really nice. Whoops! Timber. Careful down below. I, I don't know another one. I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's not... Oh, oh, there it is. That's the first free me spot that I, I hit last time. And I'm not sure why, like, after that, it's just, there's just no need, there's no more, there are no more, like, frames and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, there's one of these things in the, like, okay, here I can actually spam it. The poor rug. <laughs> I feel sorry for it. Oh, and that the thing flew. Wee! I'm a cat. I'm a. I cannot go further. Wow, the table. That's uh, not nice. Drink a bit of water. <laughs> mm, I think I'm gonna go and smile like 90% of the way through the game and whatnot. Oh god, that's uh. Very... Oh, and I just... My poor microphone. My poor, poor microphone. I was looking at the time because I'm kind of like timing uh, the first part of the video. See how, how much space 20 minutes actually like... Um, uh, occupy because I, I cannot have files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes because otherwise I cannot move them onto the... I'm not saying that it's, that's lazy, because generally speaking, someone would stop, like, right here before to investigate, to, like, okay, what are those things? For anything, so, you know. Is this the... No, it's a bit later. Oh, you can ignore him and he goes down. I did not know that. Interesting. Huh. Oh, and the eerie music, wow. Oh, I think I had this, uh... I remember this. This is creepy. They're they look kind of cute, but I think they're they, they, they might be carnivorous. I don't think it's only they might be. I think they're a hundred percent carnivorous. <gasps> and yeah, they literally look like the head crabs. I need to be careful because uh, if you have two of those on you for too long, you can die and you have to take it from the very beginning. And this is for decently long. Reasonably long thing. Leave me alone! I don't want anything to do with what you're selling. I might get some later. Okay, nice. Okay, give me give me give me one second, please. Oh yeah, this is where you learn about the interference with the the TVs. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, yeah, so, um, to, around 20 minutes is around 2 gigabytes, so I should be good if I do not forget to, uh, to, you know, <laughs> always, um, stop the recording and restart it after, like, 20 minutes. Uh, but yeah, I think think, generally speaking, I sh we should be able to get to the point where you find the little uh, drone, dude. 
Oh god, this is scary. Uh, oh, down there. <gasps> Don't you they can can you even fall or is that just how the animation is? I'm actually curious, is it just a random animation that can play? Hmm. It might be just the first the first time you jump as well. Who knows really? I for sure don't. The interesting thing is that lights are still on and then uh, there are like uh, ventilators still going on, so that means that electricity still powers this place, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm really curious to see like the story, like why is this place called the Dead City, you know? What killed it, per se. You can actually get up here, but I don't know, I didn't really see anything up here. It's pretty cool when uh, developers add these on very unnecessary things that just make the game feel a bit more alive. We. October 11th. No English. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a camera in here. Cool. Oh, this is really, really nice. Oh god, the vibrations, Jesus, stop. Okay, okay, gotcha, give me like... Gameplay? No vibrations, no thank you. Hello, do you like me, my kitty cat? My kit cat, if you wish. Oh, it's like, okay, cool, so I just wrapped around a bit. Meow to you two. Is that supposed to be like a, a nod from the camera? <laughs> Is that supposed to be the camera nodding at me, meowing? That's a really neat detail. Oh god. I actually forgot about that. What what game was it? Amber? So there's a game where you play as a wolf. Ah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up for like next time. But I re I still remember playing that game, and that that's the game that really got me into walking simulators. And while I don't play many, it seems that the ones I do get to play are actually really really cool. You know. This is actually the second one I've really played, that's like, seems to be mostly like, uh, going around parkour and like, puzzles and stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's a crane. Cool. Honestly, I cannot wait to see, you know, the world and whatnot. Anyway, I think this is the, the, where, I, where I first, uh, where, I, where I realized for the first time that there's someone actually, like, helping me and whatnot. And I'm actually gonna show you in a bit where I realized where, like, the, the, the thing helping me isn't just watching me, but it's actually in the network and stuff. Uh, through here? Yeah, through here, because the lights. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, this one. The power cells. 
Yeah, you stop the power for the ventilator. And now I can go through. The funny thing is, you actually take the power cell with you, you lose it. It disappears once you get in here. Which is the flat. Wait, I think I might have missed. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember that room where I paused the game with lots of TVs? When you get out of that room, there's a little row of lights to the left of the of the hallway. And whenever you leave the room, the lights, like, they go, it goes through on the, through, through the outside. And when you try to go back into the room, the lights light up again, but going inwards. That's where I realized that uh, there's a... Uh, uh, like someone in the in like the network or electricity and stuff. Lift, lift, goof, lift, goof, six piece. Yeah, they corrupt and need help. Oh come on, man! Hmm. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> uh, body card for download, body required. Yes. Enter the door, turn on, find the body. Uh, I do love how it went the whole like meme of the cat just uh, walking on the keyboard. Really nice, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh... <laughs> okay, so now we need to enter this place. Yeah. Uh, and where were they? Can I not get up there? It seems. Hello, thank you. That is one. Uh, yeah, I need four power cells. For that, which are like placed around the, the workshop and stuff. I don't like. How do I get up there? I should be able to get up there. Oh, there's one here. Thank you. Let's get up there. Oh! For some reason I thought that that one was uh, like the button to like open stuff up. Like once I get the batteries. And I'm, 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 I'm kind of stupid sometimes. And now... It's a secret door. And that's a dude. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I actually need to do that, I think. That's a little drone that I was talking about. And I'm not sure, like... I can't really, I don't think that's in English written on that little thing, but I'm curious what the pod is all about. Wait, is it like... No, it's not in here, right? Oh, it's here, yeah.
I know that. Press X. It worked! I'm free, thank you! I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. Um, I, I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now you can you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. I'm press B to end, wow. Why not just use A for like... Mm, I guess because... That key unlocks the door, I remember that much. Let me get that for you. I guess because you need to use A in conjunction with like the dialogue or something. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. You're going to have to put this on. <laughs> Look at him. This <laughs> I love his reaction. Or her. her. Actually, I, I'm curious. Oh my god. It doesn't like it. It acts like an animal. I love it. An actual cat. You try to put something on it, like a harness, it's not gonna like it. <laughs> the backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is it uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Ooh, cool. Easy. If you if you're ever curious about an object, you can share it to me or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Well, unfortunately for you guys, no. Well, can I get first person like from the front? <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> unfortunately for you guys. Um, I'm going to get out of the flat, but not today. It's gonna to be tomorrow. I, I wasn't actually expecting to get this um, this episode in this episode to get the, the same point that was before. Well, actually, I'm like a minute later, like getting the first memory, which is really close by. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Stray. Really awesome game, and I honestly cannot wait to continue the playthrough and see what uh, the lore of the world and more cutesy. <gasps> it's that. Uh, the cat has idle animations! The cat has idle! Okay, that's the, the biggest discovery in, in, in like the history of the world. See you